so it has finally come to this. TJ Omega, noted Transformer reviewer, is going to cross enemy lines, ones that have been drawn since 1984 and ignored since 1991. Yes, I'm reviewing a GoBot. And the thing is, it's not even one of the big name GoBots. It's Heatseeker. Originally Machine Robo 49, he's supposedly based on an F-16 Eagle, but there's several details off. It's closer to what Hasbro does, basing a toy on a vehicle, but changing enough to not risk a lawsuit. As a fighter jet, it looks kinda cute with the big bubble cockpit, but other than that, it's really not doing anything wrong. Colors are sparse, blue cockpit, red nose cone, and the three colored stickers on the wings. Everything else is cast in the same off-white plastic with a few parts chromed. What's really neat about jet mode is there's no robot to be found. All around there are cuts where the parts transform, but if you didn't know better, you might not realize this could become a robot. Then there's the part where it does become a robot. The transformation is unique and interesting, with almost the entire jet splitting down the center to reveal the flat sides of the robot. Really quite clever, considering the larger Starscream couldn't do it without part forming. Compared to the robots in disguise we know, Heatseeker's robot mode is pretty basic looking, but what saves it is how much of it wasn't visible in jet mode. The chrome face is probably the most bland part, with no detail other than the eyes. Interesting though how this GoBot ended up with the same color scheme as Starscream, same cockpit for chest idea, but got everything done without part forming. Speaking of, the wings have a hinge to them to fold wherever you want, the instructions with mine didn't specify where they went, and don't look for articulation with these, up and down shoulders only. No accessories either, which was always a big downside to GoBots. Only the big ones had any gimmick or playability as robots. Heatseeker falls victim to the line's limitations, but for having a clean vehicle mode and a pretty clever transformation, I'd say it's actually one of the standouts of the series. <laughs> kind of weird. I've always wanted to review a GoBot just for the sake of doing it, and I figured Toy Semper was probably the perfect time to kind of get that out of my system. So, now that that's all done, when we open tomorrow's present, maybe we can look at something that didn't come from Gobotron. Mm -hmm.